Alonzo here at the Boston Comedy Festival, live downtown in Boston with TTN HD and Production Live. And I'm here with... John Spraw. John Spraw, tell me what you're doing here, buddy. So I'm here as uh, an interested filmmaker, but also somebody who's um, putting together a film festival myself for the North End Music and Performing Arts Center. It's uh, coming up actually uh, at the Hard Rock Cafe on October 22nd. What time? Yeah. It's going to be at 7 o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun night, man. We're actually tr really trying to promote uh, filmmaking in Boston. Oh, so, so are we. <laughs> yeah, so all of them, are, they're all going to be local filmmakers. We're going to have questions and answers. It's going to be some musical performances as well. So I was actually here tonight scouting out some filmmakers, you know, seeing what's good and what's out there. So we're not going to grab some ringers up. <laughs> yeah, I'm curating the film of the films, if you will. Very nice. That's a term that I learned. It has to do with, like, art. Like, yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know what that means. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but very nice. So uh, tell me more about the festival. What kind of films are we going to see? Uh, how long have you been putting them together? So uh, this is actually our first film festival that we've done, and um, we're looking for films that are actually shot in Boston, preferably in the North End. Um, there's been several different films that we've been kind of uh, curating, you know, uh, films about the North End, specifically about some of the film festivals, um, filmmakers that are based out of the North End. One film's called The North End, another one's a really old film uh, from a documentary called American Tongues that was shot here in the 70s that we're going to show as well. Um, so really trying to promote filmmaking in the North End. We feel like the North End is a beautiful neighborhood, great locations to film, a lot of character and history that uh, people can take full advantage of for free. I just shot there about a week ago, two weeks ago. I got kicked out, so, <laughs> but I, was, yeah. I didn't follow the rules. <laughs> but it was a great location, you know, it is beautiful. And I'm glad that you're doing something like that for the area. Yeah, well, I mean, it's also great to have people like you as, as well supporting the cause and getting the word out. Because it is, you know, it's an uh, up-and-coming city in terms of filmmaking. And uh, we need people like, you know, yourself. And yourself. And, and tonight, you know, the film festival here, we saw a lot of great comedy films. You know, what did you think about the films tonight? I thought they were good. I definitely uh, enjoyed the majority of the films. You know, Any favorite? I, um, you know what? I can't totally reveal my favorite, but I can say that my favorite was not selected as the winner. Even though I do like musicals, uh, the musical won TGIF, but that wasn't my favorite. Wait, what, was it a comedy? It was a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, man. No, no way. So uh, tell me, now what do you, do you make films yourself? Are you a professional filmmaker in the area? Yeah. Do you work elsewhere in the, in the business? Put together festivals, art festivals, anything like that? Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I studied uh, film and in, uh, in college, and I went on to uh, make some documentary films, write some screenplays, but professionally I pursued a career in education, so I worked for the Boston Public Schools for the past 10 years, um, and I do, you know, kind of filmmaking on the side as, as a hobby now. Unfortunately, it doesn't pay any bills, so I, I, I stick you. with the education career and then the film something that I do on the side. I think, you know, we've interviewed a lot of people on Production Live, and I think most of them share your story, or our story, you know? Like, we're making films because we love it, and uh, you got to work another job to pay the bills sometimes. But there's people, a lot of people, as you see tonight, there's a lot of people that support the industry, especially here in Boston, you know? And, and uh, so so you you do the, what do you teach in, in schools? I work, it's for the Department of Extended Learning Time and After School. So, you know, after school is another time where we can actually focus on the arts and things like that with not the know, tension. students. Not the tension, no. <laughs> no, but you know, everything's so focused on the academics during the day, we feel like the opportunities in the after school is, you know, kind of to be more creative and kind of feed that energy that we all have, you know? Yeah, I did some after school teaching myself for a little while, yeah. Excellent. It was an internship for college, you know, but it was a lot of fun, man. Underprivileged schools, you know. What are you, so what are you teaching the kids right now? Filmmaking or are you teaching music? Uh, personally, we're just setting up the program, so I'm not working with one specifically, kind of working throughout the city. You know, I work with about 15 organizing. schools, so yeah, kind of community awesome. organizing, really. Yeah. That's very important, yeah. you know, same yeah. thing as you're doing with the films, right? Exactly. The film same thing, yeah. Very yeah. cool, man. Well, hey, yeah, thank man. you very much for the yeah. interview. I can't so wait much. to come yeah. to the festival, and all of you should, too. Yeah, and if people want to submit the films, they can just email me at jonathansprawl at gmail.com. Any, any website for the festival? It's um, nempacboston.org. Spell it out for them. They'll see it on the bottom of the screen, too. Yep. Uh, N-E-M-P-A-C-B-O-S-T-O-N dot org. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, John. It's been a great, so nice, to, nice to see you, and I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much. John Rizzo, Production Live, online.com.